hi there this is uh Benno again still talking about the spatial temporal epidemiological uh, modeler um the other time we we're trying to run a scenario involving a country called malaysia and we we're trying to simulate the spread of um, a plague around uh, the country of uh, malaysia uh, let, let me just uh, quickly uh, remind you that we we have uh, different uh, perspectives in stem uh, you can see here if i click here is the simulation perspective uh, here is the designer perspective here is uh, the analysis uh, uh, perspective okay most of the time we use the designer perspective uh, to design a simulation and then we observe it uh, hopefully in uh, subsequent uh, videos we'll be able to show uh, how to use uh, other perspectives and some other features uh, in stem all right so we we, we go back to our uh, simulation uh, model uh, on the plague okay let's uh, try to run it again and then uh, you see that the infection started from uh, Kuala Lumpur in Selango, state of uh, Malaysia. Uh, from there, it's spreading all over the different states in, uh, in, in Malaysia. Now, there's something you can do if you want to uh, observe the effect of the spread of uh, this disease and uh, get uh, data out of it uh, there are features you can use uh, but let me uh, quickly mention that um, uh, you can display um, let me minim maximize this okay now you can what you're seeing now is the spread of infection uh, around malaysia you can uh, click here for the population count you can look at the susceptible population you can look at the incidence of uh, this uh, infection uh, you can also look at the disease deaths how many people have died as a result of uh, this uh, infection uh, plague okay you can also see uh, this is infection spreading you can uh, see uh, how many people have recovered okay um, you can also see how many people are exposed to the infection so uh, lots of things that uh, you can see displayed uh, here you can, uh, if you like, instead of uh, label colors uh, mapping, uh, you can change to rainbow relative uh, values, all right? And then uh, you can get to see these uh, relative uh, values uh, uh, here for you to, to use, okay? I go back to uh, labels, color mapping, all right? Uh, it's a human infection we're dealing with here. So uh, here you can check the common borders. Uh, within a country and maybe uh, between a country and a neighboring country uh, you can see relative uh, physicals also all right you can see um, all these uh, features are available uh, for you to use all right I would um, want to show some something else uh, because you can actually collect the data from your simulation and then uh, use it for for your analysis okay if you uh, run a simulation of an infection uh, maybe in a region a country a continent or, uh, whatever depending on uh, what you're trying to simulate uh, you can you can actually generate data that you can use uh, for statistical uh, analysis and you can have data uh, downloaded i will show you what to do so let me stop this uh, simulation okay and then uh, um, go back to the designer perspective uh, okay this is what we are working on uh, our project is malaysia now if you want um, stem to save the data for you uh, so you can use it uh, you need to um, own the csv loggers okay how do you do it uh, one way of doing it is to go to the simulation uh, perspective in the simulation perspective you will see something here called a csv logger okay see this csv logger all you need to do is uh, to on it okay say on say on 
and then when you when you own it uh, then you can run your simulation again and then you'll be able to see the data generated uh, as a result of uh, that particular project all right now i've owned it then i i run uh, my simulation again and then you will see that the data generated will be automatically recorded for me okay in the default uh, location of uh, steam on my own uh, computer now uh, something else that i'll quickly show you while uh, my data is being uh, recorded since my csv loggers are on is um you can look at the time series okay by clicking here you can look at the time series the time series um anywhere you click on um in the in the map of the country you'll be able to see what is happening at that particular point in time for example here in Pera and pahang i, I can uh, click on uh, maybe another place uh, uh, let me say like negri sembilan for example okay so you see negri sembilan is here all right uh, i can remove uh, this one i can remove this one okay i can click on uh, maybe keda for example okay and then i see these different colors indicate to me uh, whether there are disease dates a population count the recovered you see they are represented by different colors. For example, uh, you see this uh, green color that talks about the recovered, the population count is represented by a blue color, the exposed by yellow color, you know, like that, different colors. All right, so you can also use this and actually see what is happening at a uh, particular point in time, in real time in your simulation. All right, then you can see the face, okay, this uh, face space here, uh, the same way by just uh, clicking on uh, any place there all right uh, and then you see exactly what is happening um let me let me remove maybe uh, this other uh, ones maybe leave one or two okay I just leave one for example kelantan uh, all you need to do is just click on the map on any location and then you see the face space uh, uh window will appear here i can say i want to see uh, the number of dates i select the number of dates and then um, I can say on the X axis, I want to see uh, the um, infection, okay? All right, so uh, depending on what I, what I really want, you know, I can put uh, something on the uh, Y axis. I can also put something on uh, the X axis, okay? Whatever I want, I can change to maybe incidents, for example, you know? Uh, you can also use this and I can see what is happening in in real time in my in my simulation all right so uh, csv logger is uh, what we're using all right let me just stop this simulation at this point okay so i've just stopped the simulation and i want to look at uh, the data i've generated all right so let me just uh, minimize this okay how do i get the data i have to see um, when i downloaded steam software uh, where did I put it on my computer, for example? All right, so in my own case, I kept it uh, in my local disk C on my computer. So I will just uh, locate that uh, particular folder uh, that contains theme, and then I'll try to see if I can get uh, the data generated from my my simulation. Okay, now this is uh, this is my stem folder. Okay, I, I intentionally put it here. Okay, yours may be in local uh, disk uh, D or E or somewhere, wherever you want. Okay, you can put it depending on where you put it when you download it, all right? I just double click, all right, double click. Now, I want to see the, the record I just had, so why do I get it? I have to go to my workspace folder, workspace folder, okay? In my workspace folder, I'll be able to see um, my data. In the workspace, I look for the particular project. I, I have some other projects here you can see. But the project I'm working on currently now that you're seeing is uh, Malaysia. All right, so I just double click and then I open it. Under that project, there are lots of things that um, are automatically uh, generated which i may or may not need all right so like these other ones grass predicates and all that uh, i've not uh, yet you know impute uh, predicates the triggers and and the other things like that all right 
or sequencers, of course, something will be there. All right. So predigest triggers and some other features we'll let us see maybe in subsequent videos. All right. So what I'm interested in here is a recorded simulation. All right. So I double click on recorded simulation. And this is the folder containing my recorded simulation with the date the record was done. I double click on it. And then there I can see um, a few files, okay, two folders, you know, and uh, one HTML uh, document. All right, this auto-generated human population, but this is the folder I'm interested in, the, the plague, okay, because we simulated this is the we call plague, okay. I double click on it. Under it, uh, I can see an Excel uh, a CSV, a CSV file with the parameters I used in running, I can double click on it to see uh, the parameters I used for running. Actually, those parameters were defined by me, okay? Uh, when I wanted to run, you can see this uh, transmission rate. If you watched uh, the previous video, you see that uh, transmission rate, I put it as a uh, three and um, uh, recovery rate uh, 0 0.03, you know, and uh, other things like that. Okay, minute incubation and all that. Uh, those were defined defined by me. Okay, now what I'll be interested in is in this uh, folder that uh, it says uh, human. Okay, so I just uh, double click on it. In this folder, I have a record of the simulation I've done in terms of that. There's a record of the deaths that occurred. The number of people exposed per time, the infectives per time, incidents, population count, recovered, uh, susceptible. For example, I click on this uh, disease deaths, okay? If I double click on it, it opens. The file shows me when my simulation started, for example, the different states in uh, Malaysia. At first, no deaths were recorded, but by... Uh, by the second day in uh, Kuala Lumpur, some deaths have been recorded, okay, over a thousand. And the number has been increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing, okay. As the days go by, more people have been dying because there was no intervention in our scenario to stop the spread of the infection and to stop further deaths, okay. In subsequent videos, we might be able to show uh, how it actually happens in real life because in real life, when there's an infection, uh, the health authorities and the government is not going to allow the infection to just go on and go on unabated uh, without any intervention, okay? So later we'll see um, how interventions can be simulated using this software and what the result will be, all right? So uh, this is uh, the dates I can see. Uh, if I want, I can look at uh, incidents, for example. Okay, this is the incidents. Uh, of plague in the different uh, states in Malaysia, okay? All right, so I have uh, most of the, the information I will need, okay? I can take this data and uh, use it in my Excel program, draw maybe a graph. I can uh, uh, maybe have total of uh, dates, maybe per state and and uh, maybe plot a graph, you know, a chart or something. I can take this data to uh, SPSS, for example, and use it and analyze, you know, and see uh, maybe uh, is there a relationship between number of dates and uh, maybe incidents and maybe infection and stuff like that that I can do, all right? So I have uh, my data. This data was generated from this uh, STEM uh, software, all right? So you can see that uh, you can have a lot of data to play with actually uh, using this uh, program, the spatial temporal uh, epidemiological uh, model. All right. So uh, hopefully in um, uh, subsequent uh, videos, in time to come, I will be able to see many other things that uh, you'll be able to do using uh, this uh, software. For now, we just uh,